Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Parmesha, Department of Botany, St. Joseph's University, Bengaluru. Welcome to the Botany Open Elective course, Gardening and Landscaping Technology. Uh, there are so many tools uh, are there. If you imagine, if you are from a uh, rural background, agriculture background, you, have, you might have seen plenty of these tools. Okay, Some are uh, olden days, what we are using, some are advanced uh, tools. Okay. Uh, and some are power required, some are manually handled. Okay, right from small to even big, we have a different types of tools. Of course, now we are much more advanced. But as a garden point of view, uh, at a local scale, okay, so we need uh, some 12 essential uh, garden implements and tools. Of course, I have taken this from one website, okay, uh, because. Uh, if you go for a book, okay, I have a book, Complete Gardening in, in India by K.S. Gopal Swami Iyengar. Okay, it's a quite a used book and they give lots. Okay, so, so many tools. Uh, for every purpose, we have a small knife, large knife, okay, even small nails. So, like that, okay, so one hammer. For everything, there, there are many tools, okay, right from big tractor to the minute but at your house level okay so some essential okay some 12 essential tools what we required immediately okay so we are beginning a garden at home so these we require but later you can you can expand okay so based on the uh, area you get and uh, uh, your goal what is your goal to have okay so to garden or uh, landscaping uh, of course if it is a lawn we need a big lawn mowers and tractors we require okay and hoses nozzles and the uh, sprinkler okay and uh, drip irrigation those types of things also are required okay but at the household level okay, some small gardens uh, you need definitely some basic tools essential tools so once you say tools and implements okay so they are often referred to as a machine apparatus implements instruments or utensils Okay, so those are all called tools. Okay, again in other way in data management tools are different. Okay, when it comes to socio-economic uh, studies, the tools are different. If I'm doing some plans, okay, um, uh, survey and other thing, their tools are different. But when it comes to gardening, so tools are some machines or apparatus or some implement instruments or utensils we call it as a tools. They perform variety of function right from cutting chopping moving shaping fastening digging etc etc so there are many tools okay so they are specific tools designated for specific purpose but some are required more than one tool okay so in those cases we can use combination of these tools and uh, uh, get it done that particular work okay so these are all kind of tools when it comes to garden tools okay so gardeners required so many tools okay so to have a garden uh, with one tool so we may not achieve what we require how we require how the beautification has to done okay so some other okay transplanting or growing some plants with one tool it may not possible for that uh, we need require more tools and also we can we can get it done that work faster if we have almost all tools which is required for a gardening that's why we need different kinds of tools and equipments to carry out various horticultural operations of course in olden days the garden tools were made of bones wood stones and metals you can see the top picture okay so all these uh, handles you see these handles these are all actually uh, made out of bones okay so again the top they're using sometimes stones some metals okay so they're using so this is how they made their tools for a gardening purpose but uh, advancement, of, advancement of science and technology, or uh, even uh, we replace that with metals, copper, steel, and iron. Okay, and some handles will be by plastic or fiber. You can see here in the lower surface, we have a variety of tools. With the limited tools, so they were doing so many things now. So it's quite advanced. And, and also, so based on science and technology, even the plants, what we are planning for also actually varies, diversity varies the structure function and what exactly different types of plants because we have seen in the many examples in the previous case okay the the plant what we require 
also actually varies based on their taste, structure, and function. What we are really using. Each plant requires different types of tools to handle. Okay, so that's why so garden tools are very very important. Okay, so uh, yeah, so I told you so right from bigger to smaller, like hand cultivator, tractor, lawn mower, harrow, spades. So secateur, or garden fork, sprinkler, rake, saw, spray pump, grasher, budding cup, grafting knife, everything. Okay, so we need so many things. Out of that, some required electricity, some or may not. Okay, so the tools and equipments can be categorized as two two groups. One is hand tools, another one is a power equipments. Okay, because hand tools they are less expensive than power equipments. or they often serve multiple purpose and easier to use in small spaces okay but power tools so they are a uh, bigger one they require fuel or sometimes electricity okay sometimes battery for functioning or uh, they help make labor intensive task easier okay suppose to to plow okay so one acre of land normal bullock cart okay so we need at least one or two days to complete one acre land but uh, with the tractor we can finish it in one hour so if you do by hand okay so maybe 3 4 days okay or one week so that's how okay so power equipments help make labor intensive task easier the proper tools have revolutionized farming and gardening worldwide so that's why we had to choose appropriate tools for performing tasks efficiently and timely okay so we need appropriate tools so maybe you have a, a 10 by 10 land okay you have to put up some garden there a plant few plant you may not advise to take your tractor and plowing there okay i mean that is not appropriate tool there appropriate tool is a spade or hoe hmm? shovel those are all actually appropriate all all pickaxes okay those are all appropriate tools uh, to use it there okay so that's why uh, if it's a one acre land we can't use pickaxes and other shovels or spade so we had to have a tractor okay so something like that always what type of work we'll going to do so based on that you have to choose appropriate tools if we use those tools our performance as well as the effectiveness will be increased and will the work will be get it done as we required and as we plan okay so that's why hand tools and power equipped if you combine both so it will be better we can we can succeed and we can get result faster so basic garden tools there are 12 basic and essential garden tools for the beginners okay so suppose if you want to start so these basic tools are much required okay so and of course i have taken this from a garden design.com okay so uh maybe you can also go through that and you can you can work on that so gloves pruning shear lopers garden fork hand trowel spade shovel rake hoe garden hose watering can can uh, what um, the will borrow almost almost all of you have seen this okay and some of you worked also i don't know you are from village background or some have a garden in the city also at home you might have worked by using these tools water can and those things are already you use so gloves should be uh, very important the right pair of uh, gloves because some are thorny plants also will going to use many times we will use uh, shifting the plants from here to there and use uh, on land move on and other purpose that's why fitting comfortable gloves are very important and water resistant breathable gloves are very very important sometimes what they are telling in uh, horticulture field hand gloves has been described as a second skin and pruning shears you can see here by seeing this only we can uh, make out so we have a uh, hand pruners also called as uh, sicketers uh, relatively small just like our uh, scissor we can we can use uh, to cut plants and another anvil style pruner we are very quite hard iron type so they have a sharp blade we can cut so kind of woody plants so even dead wood generally dead wood is quite hard so we can cut this small dead wood also so it is possible for uh, cutting okay when you do artificial vegetative propagation So maybe cutting or layering in those time can use this uh, pruning shear so another one called bypass uh, pruner so they have a sharp edge like scissor and another called uh, fracturing pruner so they will give increased uh, strength okay, you can see the lower one it looks like a scissor so 
So if it is too hard, okay, so you can use your both hands and we can uh, cut. Okay, so here, I mean, though it requires less strength, but it will cut quite hardy plant parts. This is all. So I mean, suppose if you cut with the same thing with the, some knife, it damages some other parts of the plant. Okay, but uh, when you use this pruning shears, you can easily cut where exactly uh, you want. So again, it should be comfortable and you can use a different type. Okay, some normal scissor type one till the uh, bypass pruner or uh, anvil style pruner. Anvil style pruner is very hard, hard iron uh, type. Many pruners, especially uh, when you come to the next uh, slide, you're going to see some more where we're going to use pruner uh, for shaping edge plant. Okay, uh, but this one for a practice like uh, cuttings and uh, pruning some uh, for plants, some branches. So we're going to use, but some other pruners are they? So they are not for a purpose of cutting. So what are those? Like uh, we call it as a lopers. Okay, so lopers are see. So these are all just like uh, pruners or share what we have seen in the previous picture, but they are quite bigger. They are another cutting tools, but only thing is they have a long handled. Pruner. Okay, so they are kind of long handled pruners. You can cut thicker branches. Additionally, you can trim. So maybe you might have seen uh, they made some hedge plants, some designs, okay, uh, some shapes, different types of shapes, animal shapes, or some square box type shapes. So next to a compound wall, sometimes they kind of uh, uh, barricade. They will develop some plants, especially Duranta plumaris, okay, the the light green colored one. So we can prune. So in which shape we want? For that, lopers are actually appropriate tools. Okay, even here also there are anvil and bypass uh, types. Okay, again based on the uh, structure in the tip, so we call it as a anvil and bypass uh, 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 types. Anvil, the top one you can see that is a quite uh, it's a kind of anvil type, and bypass the lower one, and it varies handles varies 16 to 36 inches. 36 inches is almost three feet. Okay, the handles are three feet in size, so that means it's easy to uh, cut. And also it will reach your hand is like uh, two feet and your uh, lopers are three feet. So we can by standing here, we can we can reach five feet. OK, then it is easy to uh, trim. OK, easy to trim and we can uh, reach. OK, so a little bit uh, uh, like a six. Suppose if you are five to six feet, like uh, plus two, plus three. OK, some 10 feet height we can reach. You can prune sometimes the hedge plant. OK. So we can uh, prune uh, even some longer handle lopers also available. So if you want to cut some air, uh, the plants above your canopy and if you want to grow some plants from your canopies, OK? And uh, handles with wooden, handles with metal, handles with aluminum. OK, so we're going to, I mean, we'll get different types of uh, lopers, OK? Uh, but only thing is uh, better to use stainless steel one. OK, so to avoid uh, rust. Okay. So these are lopers. And uh, another one is a garden fork. OK, you might have seen this garden forks. So again, we are using for uh, various uh, purpose, generally to uh, loosen the soil, uh, to turning the soil, uh, to dig some dense soil. OK, so at garden level. Okay. So initially, this will be done by plowing. OK or hoeing, but later suppose if you want to turn the soil, so better to use garden forks. OK, so they have again different types of slight curve. OK, or uh, straight uh, turns or square uh, times are stronger than flat times. You can see here. OK, so the curved square one will going to get here different one see, like this. Maybe some of you use this at home. The handled one, very small one also uh, available. OK, so we can scoop, you mulch, you turn the compost. OK, so you sometimes you made a compost at home. OK, so this is easy to mulch or turn the compost or turn the soil. Okay. You can mix properly, you can lose in the soil. And uh, fifth one is hand travel. So many of you use at least every house has at least one uh, hand travel. This again essential tool for a small gardening purpose. OK, 
you can transplant, you can mix, you can uh, fill soil, you can fill compost, you can fill any medium. Okay, you can lift any small plants. Okay, so we can use hand travel. So easy to handle. Again, so again, we can use stainless steel, some are metals. Handle would be either with wood or with the fiber or plastic. Always uh, broad blade. Sometimes you can use a sharp blade one also. Okay, again, based on that for what purpose uh, we are using. And uh, handles should be very comfortable for us. So those who are uh, using, okay. Uh, and if it is a stainless steel and uh, with the uh, fiber hand, it's very durable. We can use it for a so long term. Okay, this is a hand uh, travel. And the spade and shovel, okay, as in another sixth one. So this plays a major role in any garden. Okay, so without spade and shovel, even if you have all other things, um, many times we may not uh, work properly. We may not get the result, and it will take time, and we may not finish our work uh, in time. Okay, so that's why spade and shovel plays a major role. Uh, so the top one is actually very common. Even village side also, it's very common. It's available, but the second one is. Uh, uh, is not so comfortable with the uh, rural type of agriculture, but uh, when we have this is I mean very popular in schools, offices, colleges, okay, and small gardens, okay. So they use extensively this spade and shovel. So these are short handled, sometimes uh, or square soils, sometimes U shaped. You can do hedging, lifting. Uh, Soil, moving small mounds, uh, dirt them on area, the digging holes, multi-purpose you can use. Okay, so I told you, you know, so without spade and shovel, you you will never, I mean, complete your garden work. Again, the handle should be sometimes in plastic, sometimes in metal, sometimes in wood. Okay, uh, hardwood handles are durable and absorb shocks and vibration. Okay, that's why wood would be wood handle would be better of course they are available in long and short handles so if you have a short handles the energy may not uh, i mean flow and we may not dig deeper but if it is a long handle so you, it's easy okay you can dig so a bit deeper and we can lift lots of soil okay so that's why so long handle are uh, better okay the short handles are is okay but uh, if you need short handle one, so you can use the uh, travel itself. Okay, so if it is a, like a normal work, so but so spread and travel play a major role. Again, we'll get metal one, stainless steel, and they won't rust if you use. So again, I told you, so we can use for multi-purpose. So without spread and soil, our gardening work will be incomplete. So then seventh one is a rake. Again, you might have seen this rake. A rake is also important. Okay. So, because sometimes we want to uniformly flatten the soil for some seeding, number one. Sometimes lots of debris and uh, leaves falling on your ground. So, for that, we required uh, rake. Okay. Again, it's one of the major gardening implement uh, tool. With uh, it consists of tooth bar fixed transversely to a handle. You can see here. Okay. So this is a basic one. So is it easy to take out all your debris and you can you can adjust uh, uh, soil. Okay, you can remove on that soil if there are some stones. You can uh, remove that. You can flatten that. Um, again, it's seven to twenty-two inches. That means of course half foot to one foot length. Okay, so and you can see metal uh, rake and the plastic rake. General plastic rake is not uh, is a lighter and not heavy. They are using to remove debris, okay, leaf debris. But metal and other things, they will use it for a other bed, okay, so soil bed, okay, to to flatten the soil bed and remove some hard uh, part. So and some rakes, so they use for shrubs, okay, shrub legs. Yeah, like that. So there are different types. Some you can adjust also the bending, uh, length, width, everything you can adjust. So based on that, how you going to mop at home, no? Uh, cleaning similar way so we can also adjust the length and width and everything for this rake okay so that's why rakes also part of your gardening next is hoeing okay so again 
OEs uh, like uh, similar to spades and uh, shovels. So, but this is quite uh, narrower, and sometimes these holes are also attached with the kind of eggs. We call it as a pick eggs. You can do so on one side. We can pierce the line, okay, so loosen the line, and another side you can dig out. So with the hoe. This is one of the important uh, uh, type of uh, garden tool. So hoe is uh, best tool uh, for vegetable garden. So in three hoes you can see different types. Okay, so if you have these three, you can do multi-purpose work. Then a short blade, and with the work uh, better. Okay, so and handles also sometimes is long, sometimes as short. Okay, with the fiber handle, but only thing if it is comfortable. Okay, some for weeding hose. Okay, some for digging hose. Okay, so some for some for like a planting. Okay, hose like that. Okay, some to remove uh, any other roots and other debris. Okay, so so that's why so and flat hose the extreme down. So you can use it for turning the soil or turning the compost. You can loosen with the sharp tip, okay, above the hoe, and again you turn it, and uh, after loosening you can turn the soil. Okay, soil has to expose to the sunlight, and even the compost has to expose to the sunlight. Okay, so this is how hoe is actually so playing a major role. Then again, gardening hoes. So if you just started gardening, so yes, of course we have a cans, but uh, Otherwise, the gardening hoes also so playing a major role. Okay, so because it will it will uh, what it will it will reduce your uh, workload. Okay, so there are different types of hose. Okay, so the hose is nothing but the uh, pipe with the adjustable nozzle, and you can control the water. Okay, you okay, can reach different by one place only. You can be you can reach uh, around some distance. Okay. And different pressure, okay, so use for a different purpose, and it is easy, okay, so easy to uh, transfer water. So rather than doing like a drip irrigation or sprinkling, so with hose, so you can go wherever you want on the distance, so wherever you reach, okay, and we can provide uh, water. Okay, this is how actually it is possible for us to reach different corners of the garden, okay, with one hose, garden hose, huh? so. one of the so preferable essential tool and watering wine so again if you have a hose so you have to have a watering wine they have a different types and different uh, structure and different function because for every plant so we may not uh, give same type of water okay same speed of water same pressure of water sometimes we have to spray on the top sometimes we have to spray on the Uh, down okay just like hose whatever you see in the previous case similar way it will also come okay so they have a built in shut off walls and handle with that handle we can control okay so we can control the speed of the water and the spray of the water and angled arm sometimes you can see angled arm is uh, in this picture you can see the angled arm the bend will actually help us to reach okay different basket and suppose you have a hanging gardens so every day you may not put a, a stool and you climb and you put water rather than that so if you have a watering wine by sitting here only you can spray water to your canopy level okay so again for hanging gardens so these are very popular okay watering wands are useful but apart from that also we can use this watering wands uh, for uh, gardening purpose and uh, watering can again watering can you already some of you have a tome watering can so there are uh, double handed single handed okay some with the different uh, size of nozzles okay some are like uh, sprinkler some are like a uh, single nozzle okay because in the top picture you see from seedlings to saplings saplings to shrub okay we need a different strength and different types of water when they are seedling stage we may not pour the water if you pour the plant will going to die okay so that time we need gentle sprinkling of water so that's why there are uh, uh, different types of uh, watering cans are there we can use those watering cans okay 
and uh, even different sizes are there so even kids can use even uh, elders can use and some made out of metal some made out of uh, plastic okay and we should also use a comfortable one because so if it is too big we we, we can't carry okay we can't lift so that's why so the appropriate size watering can should be preferred okay for this purpose and this is how actually we can conserve water okay otherwise uh, rather than giving like uh, 100 liter 100 liters of water with 40 50 liters only we can properly manage this water spraying this water so the watering cans also are very important okay um some have a double hand if it is a heavy double hand would be better if it's a light single hand would be better okay watering cans also part of this essential gardening tool twelfth one is a wheelbarrow okay so again so you have a small a garden and from that garden you have to shift so some compost okay some gravels or some plants some uh, debris one side to other side we i mean it's quite difficult for us to lift so much at a time suppose if you want to carry them in a bucket you have to move 10 times and it's a uh, laborious and quite hardy okay and uh, we'll be tired so for that this uh, wheelbarrow is actually best one. So there are uh, uh, two types, so traditional dual handle. We had a two handle, single wheel, and recent one, single handle, two wheels, okay? The first one is quite difficult to balance, but a second one is uh, easy to uh, balance, okay? Uh, and also second is relatively strength, but first one will go to any small space, okay? We can reach the small space. We have to push, okay? And uh, handle, okay? I mean, if the load is heavy, so we may not handle that properly. So that's why two handle would be uh, better. We can fill as much as heavy, okay? Load for this uh, wheelbarrow. Of course, we have to maintain this without rusting and properly have to maintain the wheels, greasing and other things. So then it's one of the easiest implement tool for gardening okay so overall by investing in these 12 essential gardening tools your shed will house that means keeping everything you need okay for to make your gardening beautiful and growing i have used innumerable photographs from various sources especially from the internet for study purpose I hereby acknowledge this respective people and also respective website for their lively and informative photographs. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates.